doing? Don't come close to that hand, Nikki. Are you supposed to be wearing shades? No, I told you I'm I don't think that if you wear shades, then it's not going to make you cry. Yeah, but you also just must wash your hands. Also, I did already wash my hands. Did you? I'm glad. Very important. <laughs> so uh, today we're going to be making. Well, we're supposed to make lasagna, and you made. Yeah, I, I think that lasagna takes a little too long. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make mac and cheese, but with a twist, right? I'm good at lasagna. I'm so much better at lasagna than mac and cheese. So you're going to run with this. I feel like mac and cheese is, is the one, but we're going to add a little chili to our mints because we always like to do that. We like chilies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All of this fancy stuff. I don't know why it's here. Because of the white like... sauce, it is going <laughs> in. What do you mean? Because of the white sauce, you need some. Okay, but, no, but this is also kind of an opportunity for me for you to teach me like how to properly make mac and cheese. I don't know how to make mac and cheese. Are you I teaching did see me? it on, on TikTok. Oh, somebody, is it? On TikTok, somebody made it in a sink. No, 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 we're, we're not, not doing do that. that. We're not doing it. Okay, okay, so what yeah. we're gonna do is I'm gonna get a pot, we're gonna uh -huh. put some water, we're gonna boil the, uh -huh. the, the what's this macaroni? The McMuffin. Yeah. That's crazy that you <laughs> eat that raw though. That's weird. It's nice. No, anyway, it's not. So today we're gonna be cooking together. Um, we're trying to eat healthy, but today the weather is a bit, you know, moody outside, so mac and cheese is. Okay. Okay, so, so let me let me tell you a little secret is Keenan is really good at spicing like dry rub meat. All of that, marinating, you the boss. So this is going to be my job now. Yeah, boo. Okay. So then I'll do this. Let me show you what time it is. Please, as my assistant, because you're my assistant today. <laughs> okay. Can you please chop up these little guys? What is this? Oh, it's like it. No. Watch this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Baby, you know you're gonna get pink. Uh, as you can <laughs> see, I'm spicing the meat. Uh, and uh, we would like to make the meat a little chilly and a little spicy. So that's what I'm no, no hot sauce in the meat. No. Okay. okay. Okay, off you go. Go do your thing. I want to see. I really want to see. Can I chop this for you then? Yes, please. Okay. That'll be great. A lot of the things that I try and cook are from uh, my childhood. And obviously, my family being from Cape Town, like a lot of seafood, a lot of frying, snook fry, poiki, stuff like that. Yeah, man, and I think I, I really started getting into cooking as I got older. Uh, something, you know, therapeutic, something that could, um, you know, just a, a place for me to be artistic and be creative uh, in a different way. When did you start cooking? <laughs> well, I had a lot of influences from my mom. She um, has a background from Zimbabwe, so like Papa Murillo. Um, she used to make peanut butter chicken, but that wasn't my favorite. Peanut butter chicken? Yeah, yeah. she's gonna make it for you one day. But oh it was just like, that was like a thing that she makes. Chicken and chutney was also a vibe, so cooking with onions also is something that I learned from my mom. Um, making nice hearty gravies with your meals. It was always like a three things. So it was the carbs or the starch, it was the meat, and then there was always a dessert every night. Mm. So. And for me, uh, I watch a lot of uh, cooking shows so sometimes like I pretend like I'm in character like on the show so I've hosted many of my own cooking shows mm -hmm. in my kitchen without <laughs> cameras mm -hmm. just you know in my mind and in my mind I'm a very successful and accomplished chef so yeah, yeah. no but you did expose me to something that I've never had before and I absolutely love it's Which like was? bok choy with the Indonesian oh, bok choy. oh yes sauce. we like like Chinese food yeah what's your favorite fast food it's not Chinese food it's, what is it? It's, it's Mexican, Mexican, Mexican chicken. It's we can't Mexican say the name. It's Mexican chicken. It's Mexican chicken. It's Mexican chicken. <laughs> but yeah, it's not, but we do love Asian food. We do. Yeah. For sure. But and that we do, meal and that we makes... do love a good date night as well. And that was um, actually the first time you cooked for me. It was a date. And what? you lit what up the, the candles. What is the first thing I ever made for you? That. What? The bok choy with Indonesian oh, sauce. Oh, I made probably just like steak and veg, no? Yeah. What but... was the first thing you ever made me? Lasagna, hence what I'm trying to do today. <laughs> but and you had like the area lit up with candles and like. Okay, incense. thanks guys. It's very romantic. <laughs> thanks guys. <laughs> now on to our next step. Okay. Very romantic, baby. You're gonna cook the meat, no? Okay. So because you're making mac and cheese, I like making my own homemade cheese sauce, which is essentially white sauce that I add cheese to. So you get flour, you get butter, you put that together and make a little paste, and then you add some milk to that, you mix it till it gets like a nice thick consistency to it, and then you add your cheese. So the more cheese you add, the cheesier it is, and I like a lot of cheese, so I'm working my way up to the right thickness and the right level of cheesiness for my mac and cheese. <laughs> Mmm, not bad. Hmm. Gotta get it nice and even in there. So, what is our favorite activity to do together? Being at home, honestly. Yeah, we love being at we home. We love being at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We both such home buddies. Yeah, we really love being at home. If it was up to us, we would We're never leave home. And another thing that we love doing together is discovering new restaurants. Here we go. Woo-wee! 
looks good. That looks good. Please give me that. Yeah, I think that's good, babe. That's I might get all of it in there, baby. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Now we need more. All of it. No. Cheesier the better. Saucier the better. All right. Just, let's just clean up there a little bit more before we put the cheese in. Okay. I'll that's take not, this. That's nearly not enough cheese. Where's all the cheese? I put it in the sauce. No. You have to put cheese in the it's sauce. It's supposed to be on top. Yeah, so you make more, but you need yeah, cheese need in the sauce. We need to create more cheese. Mm-hmm. Guys, here. I was working for Icon. Oh, snap. so you team. remember like when you I remember because they found the picture on social media where we looked so young. You used to look like Steph, that's how young you were. Mm. You're tiny. I was so young. I think it was I was straight out of varsity in 2013, I think. And I interviewed. 2013. 2013, sorry. 2013. Yeah. And I interviewed you for that club that I was working for. I think we started from the first time we met, maybe like 10 years later, we started. Mm. More yeah. than 10 years. Yeah, more than 10 years. I think I I think I don't know. How I don't know who asked who asked. I don't think I know who asked who out. Uh, it kind of just organically kind of happened. I know you asked me out. Well, we went out. Our first date was in your house. So, maybe that counts. Can you have dates at home? Yeah, you kind of, especially the way you did it, you had candles and incense and a whole shrine going on for me. The lights were wow. dim. okay. That was a date. There we go. Yeah. yeah. You guys getting all of this? It's my favorite thing about her is just how caring she is, how loving she is, how family orientated she is, how God orientated she is, how she just wants to make me a better person. Um, I think the favorite thing I love about you is how much of a leader you are. You lead me in a lot of things, you teach me a lot of things. I also like the fact that you are so like strong in your beliefs and the way that you think is the right way to do things and I had to learn a lot of that from you. I like the idea of matching tattoos because it's for life. We thought, let's get one. So it's a sword, this Excalibur, which is the sword of King Arthur. And half of the face is a male lion, other half is a lioness. And when you put them together, you get the lion and king queen. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most romantic between the two is definitely me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. She, yeah, her, and romance. Mm. <laughs> I'm and I'm also not used to it, so. Yeah, so I'm just trying to rehabilitate her. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's been through a life of non-romance. Yeah. So now I have to come in and just like kind of Under bring loss. her back up to speed. Like yeah. as in where like the game is, you know, via romance. Yeah, no, he's definitely a lot more romantic than me. I want to have a baby. I'm sure you do. Oh, it's getting hard. <laughs> I'm getting uh, children, yeah. personally. Oh. Um, professionally, I am launching my makeup brand, which I'm really excited about. I'm really called? excited about, called Naked With Arms. That's going to be amazing. Mm. I'm very, very proud of her because <clears throat> she took the money out of her own pocket, did it, made it happen, dealt okay. with all the manufacturing, importing, exporting, all of that stuff. And we hope that um, she begins to grow it and then, you know, kind of becomes like a mogul, like DJ Khaled or something like that. You know? Another one. Mm. Oh, 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 oh please. Man. <laughs> Are you being for real? Oh, fantastic. Liar. Oh, it's, it's good. Babe, it's amazing. I feel like you'd never tell me it's bad if I made it. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's really good. No, it is, uh... It's good. It's good. It's cheesy kiss. <laughs> for the yeah. camera. Thank you for joining us in our home. And, uh, oh, we'll see you soon. Oh, one of our homes. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Peace. This was most likely AKA and Nadia's last interview together. Since AKA is dead, Nadia hasn't been on social or said anything about the tragedy. No doubt she's heartbroken and grieving. Although AKA's body is now back in Joburg, memorial and funeral service details are yet to be shared with the public.